Wars, natural disasters, supply chain breakdowns, a pandemic. Events far beyond your control can have huge impacts on how much you pay to fill up your tank, even if they unfold halfway around the globe. And the more we burn fossil fuels, the more we warm the planet, leading to more frequent, more destructive natural disasters and even greater instability. The United States has spent $742 billion cleaning up after climate disasters in the last five years alone. But another path is possible. Where American families aren't subject to the volatility of fossil fuel markets, the whims of dictators, where everyone has access to cheap and reliable energy, and where we meet the challenge of climate change. The Department of Energy is using every tool it has to protect American consumers from the economic hardship caused by rising gas prices. We are on war footing. We are in an emergency. We have to work together. But even though the U.S. has been a net exporter of petroleum products over the last two years, fossil fuel prices just keep going up all over the world. Because the fact is that U.S. production and U.S. policies don't dictate this global market. That's why we're paving the way for a transition to clean energy that will make the U.S. energy independent, end our reliance on fossil fuels, cut energy bills for families, and create millions of good-paying jobs for American workers. We're working to electrify our transportation and innovate and deploy the clean energy sources that can power the entire nation. Solar, wind, nuclear, geothermal, hydropower, clean hydrogen, and more. We're also securing reliable domestic supply chains so that we can make all these technologies right here in America. The path to a clean energy future is clear. It's up to us to take it. <laughs>